Hey loves, my name is Cherie and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some fun Valentine's Day outfit ideas. I'm not even going to hold you guys up. Let's get started. So the first outfit is not your typical Valentine's Day look, right? I like this. It's the simplest outfit, but then I paired it up with like some fun extras. So these are snake print joggers. I love joggers because they're basically sweatpants and they're so comfortable and cozy to wear. And I put on just a simple brown bodysuit. It's a tank top. And I have on some sock boots, which you guys will see in the picture. And I added a fur because I live in New York City, so it is cold out here. <laughs> it's actually snowing out here. This cute little bag with the gold detailing on the strap. And of course, I wanted to make the outfit a little bit more interesting, so I added some gold earrings, two necklaces, and some bracelets. So I would wear it. What do you guys think? Would you wear this outfit? Let me know down in the comments section. Okay, let's see what we have next. Now, this outfit is a little bit on the sexier side, right? It's technically lingerie. This is a corset which is low-key squeezing the life out of me right now. But I definitely like the corset. One, because it's red and red, you know, Valentine's Day, red, cliches, whatever. Even though corsets are technically lingerie, you could still wear it as an outfit. And as you can see, I paired the corset with some light washed skinny jeans that I got. And you guys can't see my shoes. Okay, I think you can see the shoes now. I paired them with like some simple leopard pumps. I feel like I need to go dancing. I do not know how to dance, but whatever. Okay, here is the outfit. What do you guys think about it? It's super cute. So if you don't want to wear a corset with jeans and a simple pair of heels, you can definitely wear it the lingerie way, right? You can put on some matching red undies, sexy ones, not your everyday bikini underwear, okay? And you know, you could throw on like some red stockings, the ones that kind of stop like right here. What are those called? Are they tights or stockings? I think they're stockings and they kind of stop right here and they have like a little ruffling at the top and you could wear them with like some heels and you'll be sexy. All right, let me show you guys the next outfit. My favorite <laughs> I am loving this maxi dress and I'm not even a maxi dress kind of person but this like a ruched maxi dress first of all ruching is every girl's best friend why because it just hides all of the midsection which means we can eat whatever we want and trust me when you're wearing this dress that means you want somebody to take you out Okay, we're going out, out, five star, seven star, ten star restaurants. I don't even know if there is a ten star restaurant, but if you're wearing this, they need to be taking you to a ten star restaurant. <laughs> I love this dress. And it has like this split in the back on the bottom so that you are able to still strut. Then we have the one sleeve action, the no straps action. This is everything, okay? With, you know, the gold jewelry because gold jewelry has just been my thing lately. You know, being at home, you just wear the gold jewelry for fun. And truthfully, you guys, don't be ashamed to wear like body suits and shapewear. Right now, I have on a corset and it's tightening my waistline, you know, so it could look snatched in the dress. And when you're wearing a nice dress, you want everything to be tight, 
sucked in, singed like it's supposed to be. And to get that look, you have to wear shapewear. And that is 100% okay. I think that shapewear is the key to making any outfit, especially dresses, look exquisite. And that is what this dress is giving you, okay? Exquisiteness. Do I look like a goddess? Okay, and let's say you are going out. Maybe it's cold, right? So you could throw your nice dressy black blazer on. This blazer has like a little satin finish. What is this called? The collar? So there's your little satin that makes it a dressy blazer, right? And then, and then you can add your bag with the gold detailing again on the strap. And it's just like, okay, Miss Sophisticated. Okay, I have on these shoes. I feel like these are my go-to shoes, but listen, if it works, it works, right? I, I'm not a person who have like 200 pairs of shoes. <laughs> so these shoes go with everything. And yeah, I am feeling this. I feel so sophisticated. You guys, I think this is my favorite Valentine's Day look. This is giving, yes, it is Valentine's Day, but honey, I don't wear pink and red. I'm a grown woman. Body yada 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 yada. Love this. You better love it too. Happy, happy, happy Valentine's Day with love from Cherie. No, but seriously, happy Valentine's Day. It's been a rough couple of months for us, so I'm just happy to see another holiday. I am a huge fan of hearts. Not so much Valentine's Day, but I love hearts. I love love. I'm just, I'm not a mushy person. Or maybe I am. No, I'm not. I'm a thug life okay let me stop playing around i have to go i'm really hungry and i want to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich so i'll see you guys later bye